Nandi County is Kenya's athletics hub, also renowned for its thriving tea estates endowed with a beautiful topography that mainly consists of the scenic Nandi Hills. Nandi is known for, for its uh, um, well, I mean, culturally and, and economically, we've been known to be uh, key in dairy in terms of economic activities. Nandi County is also one of 21 counties that was selected for implementation of the now popular National Agricultural and Rural Inclusive Growth Project, famously known as NARIG. The NARIG project actually allowed us as a county to select the number of value chains that were in line with our, our CIDP. And uh, we selected uh, dairy production, which is one of the biggest for us as a department. We also identified the uh, potato production. We also identified the avocado production and poultry, which is actually local poultry, which we call the Kimeli chicken. It's in line uh, with our CIDP or what actually the people said they wanted us to focus on. Of course, we have a number of other value chains, but then these are the four key ones that we thought were a priority that not only had a potential to alleviate issues of uh, nutrition, and food security, but also to be able to increase incomes of the households, because that's our focus. In the county, the NARIG project is supporting community-driven development, strengthening producer organizations, developing value chains, and supporting county community-led development. For successful implementation, several institutions were set up, each performing different roles. Through these structures and efforts made by the implementing partners, various micro-projects and multi-community projects are well underway. NARIC, the way it's structured, fits very well with the constitution in terms of devolution. We have got CDDCs, and the CDDCs are playing a critical role. Over a very long time, decisions about what to produce, who to produce, where to produce, when to produce, has been always done in offices and in higher offices. When it came in, the, 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 its model of implementation, uh, right at the CDTC le level, uh, that is at the farmer level, is a direct impact to our farmers. Uh, as a chief officer in charge of the agriculture, which is a domicile, the program is a domicile in, um, we ensure that, uh, that they start smooth flow of funds uh, for our activities to run very well. And uh, first, when we get these funds in the CRF account, uh, we work closely with finance, the finance department, to ensure that the funds is transferred to the SPA account, that is the special purpose account. Then from there, we facilitate a transfer also to operations account. That's where the CPC and uh, the CPCU and the, the, the county team can now uh, do uh, a request that it emanates from the component lead, uh, does a request to, to implement an activity which is approved by the CPCU. Then it comes to me as the chief officer, also have a look at it. Then uh, we are in agreement, we approve. And then they proceed to access the funds. We managed to achieve under component one uh, from the 18 proposals which we initially passed uh, for the 18 groups. We have now reached 225 groups uh, funded and uh, the funding level has reached 82 million shillings and this uh, across the four value chains and uh, the beneficiaries are the CIGs and the PMGs. Last year, to, to get to our opinion leaders, to get to our office of agriculture, to, to introduce the program of NARIC. To get to our office, to get to our farmers, to get to our farmers. So, we have to get to our farmers, 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 to get Kaplisang Namtai is a group that was started in 2015 with an aim of improving livelihood 
through potato farming. They wrote a proposal for pure seed multiplication so as to enhance their potato production. The proposal, which has already been funded, will see the seeds availed to every member. Lengo yetu asa ilikuwa ya ku, kupata mbeku ya kiasi ili tupate mbeku ya kupea wanachama yetu ili wa, wapate chakula ya kutosha. Na letu, tulipo andika proposal yetu eh, tulipata kama ilikubalika. Na tulipata yu proposal na fiasi tayari wa matuliatea ili ku kuweka msisi ya kupata mbeku saidi. Fiasi tumeweka tayari kwa shamba, iko tayari kupalilia. Na tunaona itakuja kusaidia chama yetu. Narig in Nandi County is also enhancing farmer's knowledge through the introduction of coordinated farmer field schools. The schools, which are facilitated by seasoned extension officers, have produced 40 staff and community facilitators at each sub-county. NARIC has employed a very important tool that is using farmer field school, a method of extension which actually puts a lot of emphasis on participatory approach. This training entails uh, what we are going to do, what we are going to do at the farm, farmer's level. We are going to come up with schools, farmer field schools, that's what this, we, are, we are calling. And this farmer field schools is a participatory approach method of extension. Unlike the normal extension, where the extension officer takes information to the farmer. This one is very unique because the farmers participate in the farmer field school, it's a season long. What that I mean, it starts, if the farmers are chosen an enterprise, it starts from production to the end. Apart from forming and establishing four active value chain platforms, the NARIG project has also disbursed inclusion grants to 12 producer organizations. The inclusion grants total 17 million because uh, we had uh, within when you unpack the 12 uh, POs which were supported under inclusion grants, we have only we have 10 which are co uh, county level which are given 1.5 million shillings and we have two which are sub county level which benefit from uh, 1 million uh, grant from according to the guidelines uh, given. The producer organizations have greatly benefited, improved their productivity, and promoted creation of employment. Through their management committees, the organizations have rolled out activities to promote smallholder farming in their respective value chains. When we engage with NARIC, the challenge that the society was feeling then was one, we had uh, a challenge with uh, the membership of the society. That's why we engaged with them, because they were able to support us to, to, to recruit more members. Two is to train our, our board members, you know, to be well conversant with the running up of uh, the society. What NARIC has done to this society, Nandi Potato Cooperative, is something, a milestone, something we can't even, our both members, the, the community are so impressed and they are happy about the good work that's going on between Inaric and the Nandipo Taito Cooperative. 2018, uh, we planted two acres of seeds as a society. Then came 2019, we planted about, uh, there were four acres. As we are talking today, we have planted 20 acres of potato. KBs are working with us to make sure these seeds are certified. Come to next season, we want to get a marginhood certification, which we are going to achieve. And NARIC are supporting us to meet all these requirements. Just as how a mother gives birth, takes care, 
teaches and instills good morals in one's child, Narig in Nandi County has demonstrated its motherly nature and created a path for others to follow. A good example is the formation of the Kochenge Poultry Cooperative Society and Nandi Avocado Cooperative Society. Since uh, Narig is in, we are feeling some bit of comfort. Comfort because ingekuwa ngumu tufikie tufikie wale watu na kuconvince that this cooperative black black. Up to now what I've learned kuku in my kambon is red money. Si ile pesa unaenda kutafuta mimi nikikuwa na jogo 10 that is 10000 because up to mali niko I can dictate my market because I sell pure kienyeji. With this cooperative I want in the 5 years hata ule go go mwenye tumeingia project sahi na 70 years atakuwa eke atakuwa anapata dividends yake ya kuku kwa mlango atakuwa anatuma mchuku sio pesa ya serikali saidia anatuma mchuku aenda akash pesa yake kwa cooperative ya Boltri kama ame save ape, aletewe 10000 aletewe 20000 na hiyo pesa hata gogo akilala ule mchuku ata draw hiyo pesa for herself for himself tulipata shida kubwa sana ya brokers ama middlemen wenye wananunua shilingi tatu, shilingi nne, shilingi tano. So ikafika muda ya juzi 2019 tukapatana na watu wa Kirkacha. Wakatuambia there is a there is a, a project inaraniwa na Narik. Tukafurahia sana tukaona kama sisi wakulima wa Nandi waje tuungane tukakuwa facilitated na na yani tukakuwa tukafurahia hiyo mfano itumepewa alafu kidogo tuka tukaunga tukaunga chama cha Nandi Avocado Farmers eh, Cooperative Society ikakuwa registered very fast na watu wa cooperative in 2019 eh, mwezi wa 12 na tukaanza recruitment wakati huu tuko na members 120 na tunaendelea ku recruit as we are talking today nimepata simu hata saa hii tumepata inclusion inclusion uh, grant yenye itatusaidia kufanya uh, kufanya sensitization ili farmers wengi we can move now in our in our county ili ika hii kazi yetu ya avocado if uh, yendele vizuri. Nandi County is one of the counties that we work with the farmers and uh, we have been having a challenge before uh, accessing uh, the has and fuete varieties for the export market. Uh, for last year we didn't uh, we were not able to reach uh, farmers because uh, more farmers because we didn't uh, get a proper location but uh, Nandi Farmers uh, Cooperative, Avocado Cooperative Society they came together and uh, we, we are now able to buy fruits from them because uh, they've been able now to aggregate their produce in, as a cooperative and sell to us as, as an exporter. So initially we have, we have had some challenges going to one farmer to another but now since they, they formed the cooperative they've been very easy for us to get the, the volumes that you require. Initially when the farmers were scattered you would incur a lot of cost looking for individual farmers at their home. But uh, when they formed the cooperative, we were able now to, they were able to bulk their produce at their collection points identified by the cooperatives. That's where we collect their, their produce. Now, the cost of running up and down looking for individual farmers has really come down. Now we can give them good prices because we have been giving them some trainings to look at the quality. You of Akado Minasaidia Sana. Nina wachuku hapa, wanaenda shule. At least pocket money wanapata. Sahi wakipanda miti wanatolea gogo, wamepata ya airtime. Haya kwa, kwa nyumba tunapata hata ya gukula na kusongesha vitu ngine. Nandi County has also established a toll-free call center through a partnership model that is providing farmers a go-to and timely extension aid. One thing I can say is that uh, the call center has been very instrumental uh, in the Department of Agriculture. 
and uh, we've been able to respond to a lot of questions from our farmers and who are requesting for services and who are asking about uh, you know what is being provided within the Department of Agriculture. And through the NARIG program, we have uh, partnered with Digicow, uh, and a platform that helps farmers uh, you know, uh, provide vet services and extension services. Wakati wa Digicow walipo ingia, mwambi angu walikuwa imekonjeka, walitika kutritu mwambi angu vizuri sana. Hata ngombe imemproofu na inaendelea vizuri, hata masiwa imerudi vizuri, na nikawana ni vizuri. Digicow ni abadhali sana. Kwa sababu, atuto kikuwa na karama mingi. So only 450 ni kama insurance kwa ngombe. This has uh, assisted to, uh, to bridge the information gap between the farmers and the, the, the county government. More so, the Department of Agriculture and Cooperative Development is the biggest consumer of the call center, uh, which the farmers are able to access real-time information on their extension services or inquiries that they would wish to know in the agriculture sector. Uh, the farmer when he wants to clarify information on the agricultural sector, easily calls the toll-free number 1458 and uh, you can get assistance uh, on real-time basis. In order to support county community-led development, the project in Nandi County has developed four proposals on multi-community investment projects. Three out of four proposals have been approved by the National Technical Advisory Committee and implementation processes have begun. The four proposals include Kamasia Integrated Landscape Conservation Project, Kamasia Mass Gravity Dam and Small Scale Irrigation Project, Chesume Landscape Conservation Project, and Nandi Dairy Cooperative Union. One other proposal, Ainab Ngetun Landscape Conservation Project, is currently being developed. At the moment, we have been funded for three proposals have been approved at intake level and funded. Most of them are SLM, which are the Sustainable Land Management. So far, we have two catchments which have been funded. Mwaka huu, maji hako chukua mchanga kwa shamba. Niliona tara sasa niliweko kwa shamba, sasa hitia mashamba. Mchanga hako chukuliwa na maji. As na hii ya mambu ya pambu, naona hii anasuhia maji haba. Niliona hii maji kikaa haba, atasaitia mimi kwa sababu mbelini ilikuwa na naenda tupuri. Asa kama maji mewekwa na mnai, simitafanya kasi kubwa kwa sababu wakatu wa kiangasi mitafengenesa chakula haba. We put together about 40 primary cooperatives who are composed of the CIGs to form a dairy union, which we are calling it Nandi Farmers Dairy Cooperative Union. And this union, we have put together to build their capacity to be able to process their own milk. And as we are talking right now, we have actually established the dairy processing plant called NCC and the construction is underway, the supply of the equipment is also underway, uh, has already supplied, delivered some equipment to do the support of the NARIC. Phase two is going to be completed within a very short time. We've got 100 million from the, from the NARIC and we've got also, the county government has so far put in 250 million. With the assistance of NARIC, the money that they have already invested and I know uh, they may be also kind to bring some more money. I'm sure we shall go somewhere. We will go beyond the uh, 40,000 mark liters per day. So I'm seeing after this project is completed, up and running, I'm seeing something to do with either $2, 2 to $3 per day. Each family will be uh, paying school fees without any problem. Food will not be a problem. Clothing will not be a problem. Even housing will not be a problem. 
Through various activities implemented in the proposed projects, short-term employment opportunity has been created for over 200 youths. Gender balance was highly considered during their identification and recruitment. The youths were well trained based on the task at hand before being involved. The NARIC project is at the forefront on delivering capacity building support to agricultural and alternative livelihood investments at the community and county level and as such ensuring sustainability. This project is a, a very good project, it is very unique. We are working with the CDDCs which, is a, which are the community itself. So this is a project which has a direct link and planned and authored the plans, investments are planned and authored by the community itself. So this is, uh, we are really very proud to serve the community. We are proud of uh, NARIC and we would wish actually to get uh, half more of this. And maybe if all the programs can uh, work towards the implementation model of NARIC, that will be a game changer to our agricultural sector. Being implemented in a runner's hub, NARIG in Nandi County is at the forefront and is well on course in achieving its objectives, ultimately contributing to the county's vision to become not only a hub of Kenya's athletes, but also a hub of wealthy and happy farmers. <laughs>